This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. video on uh, pro level guitars without being ridiculously expensive I mentioned that hopefully this might be one that I could recommend could have asked Yamaha if I could get sent one of these but I decided it'd probably be better off if I just bought one with my own money and that way I could be totally honest and transparent to get asked by Chris if you're watching if I would review one of these or check one of these out the last time i played one was at launch uh, where i got to play them all very quickly at ross's house the specs are virtually identical to the japanese version which i think is both brave and cool because obviously if they make these good enough at indonesia you'd expect maybe they'll sell a few less japanese ones looks the same as the Japanese one feels quite similar I'll give it a play and see what I think 
So the first kind of question for me around this, the Revstar standard was how does it compare to the professional? Uh, are you getting more or less the same guitar, more or less the same kind of experience? And I have to say that there are a few little differences, but in general, I think there, there are a lot more similarities than, than differences. So one key difference is that the back of the standard is kind of more black. Professional has more of the kind of Les Paul mahogany-ish uh, kind of brownish hue to it. Who's you? Don't know. Uh, then another thing that I've noticed is that the neck here feels slightly rougher, um, a, a slightly less smooth feel to the finish. Uh, I don't know if that's deliberate and I don't know if that maybe is something that's slightly kind of worn down over time on the professional. Uh, but that's something that's noticeable in my hands that this feels a little bit um, I don't know, just less smooth, smooth. The other thing that if you look really closely, um, it does seem like the binding is a, a slightly less good job than you get on the professional. Um, so all of these things are, are very minor, but I guess things that if you look at it with a, a really fine kind of eye, you might see some of these things that are slightly different about them so yeah I'd say the binding uh, is a, a quite a, a bit tidy on the professional um, but aside from that the the bigger difference for me was that the neck humbucker of this one seems to be uh, quite a lot darker than the professional and I'm not sure why that would be I've kind of tried to eyeball it and get them similar in height um, this came stock with them a little bit higher than the professional, um, but it, that that bridge to me sounded incredibly similar. The neck humbucker and then the kind of in between after that seemed to be that it was a bit darker on the profession uh, on the standard than the professional. Fret job really good. I'd say maybe the frets feel slightly less polished here, but still amazing feeling fret work under the fingers. This. Rosewood fretboard seems a little bit drier and there's like a little bit of dust on it So I might treat the fretboard with a bit of Montes or something just to kind of clear that up a bit um, But all in all you're getting essentially An incredibly similar guitar. There are some structural differences. There's a tiny bit of um, Carbon fiber in the body now. Maybe that is something that might actually make the professional a bit more resonant I don't know whether that be bollocks or not I mean presumably there's a reason they put it in there um, but in the hand both of them I think the tail piece is the, the real kind of source of a lot of the resonance I don't know is there a big difference between them unplugged does seem maybe that the other one is slightly brighter and maybe having carbon fiber that this is plugged into would transfer resonance in some different way both have the same kind of chambering on the body i think both have the same neck dimensions in theory uh, although to me it does feel that the professional is slightly thicker but i think that's probably just a feeling um i don't know but yeah essentially the same experience both great guitars um and yeah, I really like the idea that you could get essentially the same guitar made in either Indonesia or Japan, similarly to what Ibanez did with the AZ, and you basically, they have spec the guitar to be what it is, and then you just choose where you want it made. I kind of like that as an idea. If you're really confident in your designs and you're confident in both of your places that are being built, then you just trust that people are going to buy them, either because they believe in the Japanese kind of craftsmanship or because they feel like they can get a really great guitar for a, a really good price so this is about 630 pounds a really 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 impressive guitar i think and quite unique uh, lots of things to like about it the only thing i really don't think adds much is the mid boost kind of push pull thing I, i'd rather see that used in some other way in some ways i prefer the dry switch on the older rev stars and in some ways I, I kind of miss the old flamed top, but I do prefer the satin finished neck. I do definitely prefer the stainless steel frets. 
and I think it's really quite impressive how close they managed to get this Indonesian guitar feeling and playing to the almost three times as expensive Japanese. Um, so I think I'd be happy playing either. And I think it's kind of a cool idea to have a backup that's built in Indonesia and is relatively similar anyway. So maybe you'd have both. I don't know. The fretwork on both seems really good. I'd give the edge again to the, the Japanese one, as you'd expect, but just two really good guitars. Basically, not, not as big a gap as I was maybe expecting. Let me know your thoughts if you've tried both. Have you had a Revstar Standard? Are you a fan of them? Are you not? Oh, the nut on this was slightly sloppier cut as well um, and fitted than on the professional, I think, like that can't really feel a join whereas this like the nut is slightly slimmer than the, the neck so you can feel it a bit more but yeah overall very impressed so both feel very similar weight wise as well so it's not like the Indonesian ones are coming out super heavy I think it may even feel close enough that I can't really tell by hand